measuring off the free throw line. Mission control ready for launch. Recognized as one of sports' greatest events, the NBA All-Star Game undoubtedly showcases the greatest athletes in the world. Jordan makes the block. He's not being a very gracious host to this basketball <laughs> club. No. Jordan was named the game's most valuable player. He picked up his second trophy in as many days. Icon, Michael Wilbon is in yeah. the house. Tracy McGrady, the Hall of Famer. He's from Northern Florida, so everyone give him a little room. He's got many jackets on. And of course, <laughs> your six-time champion, Chicago Bull Hall of Famer, Scotty You're not wearing a ring today? I can't do the voice like they did in the introductions back and in the now. There we go. There we go. And so well deserved. Coming up, we got another Chicago legend stopping by. Mr. Dwayne Wade will be in the house with us. We are so excited to talk to him about his upcoming show on ESPN and so much more. First, though, we're going to kick things off with some all-star news. All right, guys, we found out Damian Lillard out for Sunday's game and the three-point contest. That when it came over the weekend when he suffered that groin injury. But earlier today, the league announced that Devin Booker is going to take his spot for both events this weekend. T-Mac, yes. do you think that of the available selections, and people wanted, some people were repping for John Morant, do you think that Devin Booker was the right choice? Absolutely. I, I think um, individually, he's having an all-star type season. I mean, he's averaging 26, four rebounds, six assists. Um, it's unfortunately, he's playing on a team that is not very good. They're very young. They're talented, but they're very young. He is worthy and deserving of this, uh, this all-star selection. I'm happy for him. And hopefully this, uh, you know, catapult him to, to be, you know, a perennial all-star, but he's deserving. Trace, I'm going to disagree with you. <laughs> because I think Paul George is an established superstar in today's game. And I know he's missed several games this season. You just said it. But he's I missed think several games. when a player has established himself in the game the way Paul George has. He's an all-star. Yes. And I played on the era on the Larry Bird, who had a bad back for a lot of his career. And I missed a lot of All-Star games because they went with Larry Bird. Mm -hmm. Because, in all fairness, Larry Bird was an established. In all fairness, please do not compare. And he did Paul not George play. to Larry Bird. Well, I'm comparing Man. Paul George in this era of player. Himself. He's one of the top <laughs> ten players in our game. He's been hurt this year, though, Pip. But it's, it's, it's that, not about him being hurt. Look at his team. It, He's playing with a, a, a first team All NBA. Yes, and wow, they are winning. And most teams that are winning first of all, have two superstars. First of all, oh, oh. oh you tell me. Let why me ask you. Let me ask you. Oh, oh. Have two superstars. Didn't the Clippers make the playoffs last year? Yes. Who wasn't on their team? Who was? All, who wasn't on their team? It's, it's, all it's, George and Kawhi it's, Leonard. It's not about they made the playoff. They didn't make enough noise. They were in winning the though. You they were winning. Been? I would love to break. Winning this time. what? I would right. love to break this tie. Winning and, what? And you know what else? De Devin Booker is absolutely deserving. I, Devin Booker's on my short list of favorite players. I know yeah. he's not greatest yet. And I ain't going to argue against Paul George. But I'm going to argue for someone else and create oh. more decision <laughs> oh and not God. break a tie. Go ahead. I'm going to go with John Morant, and I'm going to tell you why. We I'm, I'm trying to combine. Scotty, it's interesting because I had a vote. And I was trying to combine things like unbelievable performance like Trey Young has had. And I did vote for Trey even though his team doesn't have the record. 
In the case of John Morant, I, I his team, he is leading a team that is out of consideration for yeah. years. Yeah, I, I can't disagree. Into that eighth spot. And while I won't argue against and those other so guys, I won't, I won't, because yeah. they're deserving. I'm just going John Morant, because what this kid is, look, we're going to get to the point yes. we got to talk about um, rookie of the year. We're going to get to this point in a couple of, in a few weeks. And I don't know what I'm going to say. Zion Williamson is unbelievable. But John Morant has his team in the number eight spot in the West. This is hard. It, it, yes. I, it is. Look, it's tough. tough. It's a tough. Uh, yes. and the other thing tough. about this is it's the all-star game. This is not all NBA. This is not like the Defensive Player of the Year award or MVP or anything that is supposed to be what is the quality of player. Yes, People say, ah, it's not a popularity contest. Guess what? It it's is. a popularity it contest. That's yes, what it this is. is. It's the chance for the NBA to show all its flash, all the stuff that make it such a fun sport, not necessarily who the absolute best is. So I agree with all of you because they're all yeah, fun I mean, players. Really, yeah. You couldn't really, go wrong. I personally think think there should be more players on the All-Star team. Well, look, we always talked wanted about it to that. go to at least yes. 15, right? right? Yeah, it needs to go to League 15. Well, I mean, there's a lot of great talent in our game, and a lot of players do get left out. Yeah. And to me, I feel Paul George is being left out. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, we're going to talk about the format, too. We'll do this real quickly because we'll talk more about it tomorrow. But there is a new format here. The NBA announced two weeks ago. The changes, uh, they, they're a lot. So let's take a look here. First three quarters each become a mini game for charity. Then there's going to be an untimed final quarter that's going to target the top cumulative score, plus 24 in honor of Kobe Bryant. That will decide which teams win. And now the scores are also going to be reset back to 0-0 at the start of the second and third quarters, but then restored and all added back up <coughs> to do the fourth. Scotty, did you follow that? Do you have a degree in mathematics? Yes, I did follow that. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is um, a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. But I, I think when you look at the whole thing and the fact that they're on Kobe Bryant, that's the, uh, that's the headline. it truly makes a lot of sense. And I, I think it's going to make the game more exciting as, as a whole because the players now are making the game closer because we're clearing the score every time. Right. Well, I mean, I, I like it because of who they're honoring. They're honoring a guy that left his heart and soul on the basketball court. And I think because we're honoring Kobe in that fourth quarter, that these guys will be competitive. Um, it might be one of the better competitive all-star games that we've seen in quite some time. Uh, so I, I like the format. It's like the TBT is what they're taking. Um, if there's a five-point game and you add 24 points to that, you turn off the shot clock and then you plan for that number. Uh, turn off the, the time clock and you plan for that number. So I like it. Do you think in that last quarter especially there's going to actually be defense in the all-star game? I think there could be. The best all-star game I've ever seen is the one that Scotty was MVP in. That was deep. There was, there was defense like three quarters of that game. It was. Mike, I like that. I'm going to pay you out. <laughs> <laughs> but real quick, why not just have international team against the U.S.? You want to honor Kobe? Well, now Who you is more international? That. You could have Antetokounmpo, Embiid, Luka Doncic, um, uh, Ben Simmons. Mm -hmm. Look at the starting five for Omar. each the U.S. Yeah. team. Right. And then look at, look at the international team. You want viewers? You want interest? So you don't need a gimmick. And you can honor Kobe because no one was more international or cared about international basketball growing up than Kobe. U.S. versus the world. This is not hard. Why, aren't, why isn't the league doing this? Well, look, they do it in the Rising Stars game. And there is now a time where you could do this, where it's competitive yeah. enough. A, a long window. time, it would be very lopsided. Now it would be competitive. And you know there would be a lot of pride on the line both ways. Well, but we can't let you go without talking about your hometown Chicago Bulls. Ooh. Scotty, I'm not even going to tar you with this brush. No, I'm just going to let Wilbon lead the way here. I love watching Zach. They have made the playoffs once in the last five years. I I'm just going to put it out there. It's not looking good this yeah. season. They are 19 and 36. And by the way, video surfaced this week of them kicking fans out of their seats because they're wearing jerseys that say fire gar packs. Uh, yes, listen, I just heard that in the back of us. We ain't gonna kick anybody out of here. Look, <laughs> I said, I picked the Bulls to finish eighth in the East this year, but it was based on one thing. And Scotty and I talked about this earlier in the fall. What, MJ coming back? Yeah, <laughs> I thought Tracy going right. MJ and Scotty, right? <laughs> listen. The health had to be the number one thing. You got Wendell Carter, who's missed 18 games. You got Lori Markkinen, who's missed like the last nine or 10. You got Otto Porter. These are three starters. That's your whole starting front court. He's missed like 44 games. You're not winning anything in this league as you build without your players. 
And so you've missed all three of those guys. Zach Levine has to you know do what? too much. I'm sorry. What? Every team has had injuries. No, 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 yes. no. Rachel, no one we're talking about who's any good has all three starters out half the first half of the season. No, that's not true. I'm not. None of the teams that are any good are missing their starting front court. Tell me one. Look, I, the Portland Trail, Trailblazers. Not their starting front court, and their two best players have played most have of their games. Have been hit by a lot of injuries, right? And CJ. Yeah, that's most true. Most of the games. These guys, I look out on the court, as Scotty knows these guys personally. Half the time you look out there, do you know who the starting lineup's going to be? No, I do not. <laughs> I don't even know half the players on the team. Okay. <laughs> we, we, come on now. I mean, he's invested more than anybody in, in, in what happens in this franchise for the last 25 years. Yeah. I've watched... Every game it? this year, they can't, they can't, you cannot get to the eighth spot without help. I'm buying it, but I mean, I, those guys that he's talking about, I don't know if they start anywhere else. Right. Honestly. So, so I mean, I, I follow what you're saying, Mike, and I'm with Tracy. The Bulls starting lineup are not true starters in this league. Right. You know what I'm saying? They Just probably can't go to another starter team. starter you see? Yeah. You know, Zach, yes. Uh, marketing I think marketing, good. but he, he, had a good he hasn't been year. He's yeah. Yeah. Off. Yeah. He been what we thought yeah. he was going to be. Zach Levine is such a talent, right? And he could become this year the only person to ever win both the dunk contest and the three-point contest. He's got that kind of game. I'm dying to see a winning team around him. I hope it happens here. Like, why? You know, that would be the goal, right? For well, it to happen I, look, people are on here. guard and packs. I thought they put together the right team twice. Those teams lost to LeBron. So did a lot of people. That's like losing to Michael and Scotty. Yeah, but then they you know, decided that not run. to keep and Jimmy Butler. This, this group, this group has not, they have not done that with this group in terms of putting together the right team. Did it twice, not happening right now. There you go. They're still punching in the clock. <laughs> well, Tracy was not happy with that when the coaching staff decided that to promote a workmanlike ethic, they would put an actual time clock with Tracy. in the practice facility for players included I'm to punch Tracy. in and out on their way out. Come on. I mean, if you, he, these guys know they've played on great teams and these are Hall of Famers. They know the clock isn't even entering into their minds when they walk into a facility. Guys get keys to the gym. They, that wouldn't be keys. It'd be some electronic yeah. fingerprinting a, a mechanism that lets you. Yes. Guys come into the gym. They're all night. You see their car. You're like, why is he here? Yeah. Getting treatment, getting up shots. Do, you know, a clock. It's yeah. insulting. Yeah, it's very. <laughs> there will be no clock at All-Star Practices this weekend. The weekend begins on Friday with the Celebrity Game. ESPN and the ESPN app will carry it. And look who's coaching. Mike yeah. Wilbon coaching, of course, the home team against Stephen A's away uh, team. Richardson, Who you got guys you. back here rooting for? You know you're rooting for what? Which? Which team? There we go. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific from Wintrust Arena, home of the WNBA Chicago Sky. Mike, thank you for joining us. You'll be back with us be tomorrow. The coach of the Bulls. We'll see how you do. <laughs> Come on. It's time for our distant replay. It's this date in 2000. It's Allen Iverson, people. I, I don't got to say anything else. From Carter back to Hill at midcourt. Are you following all this? I'm listening good, Bob. Here's Iverson from Carter. Count it plus the foul. <laughs>